Hello grade 10 children. Welcome to another English lesson. This lesson focuses on unit 5 of your grade 10 textbook. Today we are going to practice writing. I'm going to teach you how to write a notice correctly. Let's start the lesson. Children, a notice is a written or a printed announcement which is written in order to inform a large number of people about something that is going to happen it could be an upcoming event competition lost and found notice or just a piece of information to be delivered to a targeted audience now children before we learn how to write a notice let's read one to understand what it basically looks like this is the notice you have on page 45 of your textbook let's go through it together notice a shramadana campaign will be held on 30th may 2015 from 7:30 am to 1:30 pm to clean dampitia tank bund and the children's park refreshments and a complimentary cap will be provided all are invited 18/5/2015 Municipal Council Dampitia Children I hope you could understand a few things about notices when you read it Let me show you what they are As notices are put up on notice boards in schools or in public places they are factual and to the point That means only important accurate details are there The language used is simple and formal. It is generally written in a formal tone. As you can see in this notice, the first sentence is in passive voice. A shramadana campaign will be held, which is very formal. Also, as you saw earlier, a notice has a particular format. Look at this. It shows the format of a notice. As you can see on the top you have to write the word notice usually in capital letters or bold type next you have the body of the notice here you write details such as the subject of the event that means what the event is you can write about the date time duration the venue that means when and where you are going to have the event etc as we discussed earlier This information is written in simple formal language. Next there is the date. It's very important in the notice. As you can see, it's written in the bottom left-hand corner. In the right-hand corner, the issuing authority, that means the person or the organization issuing the notice should give their name and address. Okay children, I hope you are now familiar with the format of a notice. Let's do an activity now. Look at this question. Read the information given in the question and complete the missing parts in this notice. You can pause the video and do it now. Okay, let's check whether you have done it correctly. Here is the complete notice. Let's read it together. Notice the next monthly meeting of the English Literary Association of Gamunu Mahavidyalaya will be held at 2 p.m. on Friday, the 27th of October 2020 at the main hall. 27 10 Secretary English Literary Association. I hope you could do it correctly and you could find most of the information in the question itself. Children, at the O level exam you sometimes get to write a notice. You can score 5 marks if you write it correctly. So let's attempt a question from a past paper. This is from the 2019 O level paper. You can pause the video and do it now. 
Okay, you can now compare what you have written with this notice. Let's read it. Notice The English Literary Association of Mudita Mahavidyalaya has organized a singing competition in English. It will be held on 15th November 2020 at 1.30 p.m. in the school main hall. All the students of grade 9 are invited to watch the event. 25th October 2020 Secretary English Literary Association Okay children, look at the question and the notice once again. Can you see, most of the information you need to write the notice is available in the question itself. So don't leave this question unattempted at the exam. Okay children, that's the end of today's lesson. Today we learned how to write a notice correctly. I hope it was useful. Please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.